So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and something I haven't done for a little while, a bit of a painting video. Um, so I've shown recently on my channel um, some, some terrain features and buildings and uh, various other things that I've done uh, from Grand Manor. And somebody was interested uh, in how I got around, how I actually painted them. Um, and so I thought, I haven't got any more Grand Manor. Well, I've got one more Grand Manor thing to do, but it was already progressed. So I thought I'd dig out this one, um, which I think is from a company called Arcason in America. It's supposed to be a Norman coastal uh, tower. Um, and I thought I'd show um, how it is that I painted these, this, or how, how I go about the process of painting these big terrain features. Now, this came as a two-parter. The roof comes off um, on the original model, but there's nothing on the inside, so I basically stuck it down. Um, it's a resin model. Um, the guy uh, who creates these says that you don't actually need to pre-wash them or um, even prime them, um, but I have. Um, I've used my usual um, Halfords light grey primer spray all over it um, and um, given it a thorough coat. And you want to make sure that the coverage is good with that. Um, that's my first, take, uh, first um, sort of suggestion. Now, the other thing is look at the, the, the layout of the model itself. You can see this is sort of simulating a rock effect, like it's sort of set in um, natural rocks. And obviously you've got the, the, the sort of stonework masonry of the tower itself. You've also got a slightly different masonry around the windows here and also the door here um, and the, the wood of the door itself. Um, and then again, the the... the roof tiles so all of them allow you to sort of change the style of the thing and you can see indeed the rocks for the where it's set carry on all the way around the outside so what i like to try and do is to have a sort of although these are that's rock and that's rock um and you know this is more brick i kind of want to try and show a difference in tone between the two um, so for this rock, um, I'm going to um, give it a generous dry brush, or drag brush of light grey. So I've got, um, this is scale 75, um, I think called graphite grey or something like that. It's a very pale grey, um, actually not that far off this rock grey. And all I'm going to do is go around and pick out where the rock, the natural rock is of this uh, of this model. So uh, rather than watching me do this, you can see the sort of level I'm doing. I'm not completely uh, painting it, but I'm sort of drag brushing it. So I've got more paint on the brush than you would if you were dry brushing. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go around and do all that. And rather than you watching a paintbrush wobble up and down for the next 10, 10 minutes, I'll come back. Right, so that's done. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference in terms of the colour, but just adds a little bit more de depth to the rock. Um, strictly speaking, I could have got away without doing it on this model, but I decided I would. Um, next, I'm going to take some... Um, this is AK Deck Tan, um, and I'm going to paint all around all these sort of brick works around the, uh, door the window frames around here. Um, the door frame here, um, and probably these slates uh, that are on the path down the steps here, just to make them have a, a different tonality. Um, so again, same process. Um, I will effectively drag brush um, rather than dry brush. Um, so get a um, fairly chunky brush. This is an army painter, something or other. Monster brush. There you go. Um, a moderate amount of, of paint on the brush and just work your way around. So again, be back when I finish this bit. Okay, so there we are. The um, the lighter slab work's been done with the tan. Um, you can see all the windows. I've also done, um, as you can see, underneath the roof here, there's this little line here, which I've done and I've also done the top of the uh, the roof itself um, 
Also, um, didn't talk about it in advance because it's no big deal. Um, I did all the woodwork, so the, um, the doors and the shutters on the windows using um, contrast snake leather brown. I find that a really good um, colour for wood in these uh, on this sort of thing. So um, next up, I'm going to do the tiles on the roof. Um, now, there's a couple of options here. In fact, there's three options I've tended to use. If I want it to be a sort of slaty colour, then I'll use contrast basilicum grey. If I want it to be a sort of more tile, um, sort of terracotta -y type tile, then uh, Gorgranta fur uh, contrast paint works well. Or if you want a much paler one, then um, Agrax Dunes um, contrast paint also works well. So I think for this one, um, I'm going to use uh, Basilicum. Um, so I'm just going to apply it quite heavily all, all over the roofing. Um, and um, I'll be back when that's done. So there you go. Um, that is the Basilicum applied very generously to the roof tiles. Um, I've tried to make sure that I get down into the recesses with it. And that's why contrast is actually really good for this. It's very good naturally to flow into the um, nooks and crannies because um, that's what it's designed to do, right? Um, you don't really need to water it down in any way. Um, so we're pretty uh, advanced. That all needs to dry thoroughly before we do anything else. So I'm gonna work next on the actual stonework. Now you notice I haven't actually put any extra color on this. It's just literally the base coat um, primer that I that I applied. Um, so I'm going to take um, sh um, shade, uh, non oil, any kind of black based sort of dark color will do here. I think, <clears throat> and I'm going to work it into. The recesses of this. So I'm just going to work my way around all the all where the actual stressed stone, if you like, of the tower is, and I'm touching the wet roof. That's silly. Um, so it should cover everywhere where the brickwork is. Um, I'm going to leave the natural stone for now, and I'm going to leave all the uh, surrounds of the door um, for now. But I'm just going to do this. So I'll be back. When that's done. Right, um, that's all done. I in the end I had to use a big <laughs> had to use a bigger brush. Um, so you've got the big mother on it. Um, did all the brickwork is all coloured um, or washed with the nulled oil, um, and then also I got um, out the agrax um, and did well. I did all run round under the. Uh, the eaves here, I guess you call them, did all the um, surrounds of the door, the door itself, the stairs down, um, yeah, all the way around, and then all the rocks here also did uh, with non oil straight over the grey that I've previously used, and that's where we are now. Um, also did the knobby bit at the top with non oil. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now um, is. Oops, sorry. Caught up, caught up for a minute there. I am going to do the paintwork, the brickwork. Now, I've been nulling in my head what to do with this. I think what I'm going to do um, is going to have a sort of a whitewashy effect. So I'm going to get um, some nice matte white out. Um, matte white out sounds like a should be some hero in a movie. Um, and we're just going to drag brush like that. See? All over this. So we don't want too much on, but I want it to be obviously white. And once that's done, don't want to get too thick like I did just there. But you can just rub it off a bit with the paintbrush. There we go. I shall get on with this and I'll be back. Right, so that's done. Um, just as you can see, sort of heavy dry brush, drag brush almost. Um, all you want to really make sure you do, and if you get a bit of variation in the colour, it doesn't matter. 
just want to make sure that you um, don't get down into the actual bricks themselves so that it's just on the top level you're covering. Classic dry brush really. Um, so next up I'm going to work on the rocks and also the window frames and the steps, these bits of, uh, sort of slabs here, round here. Um, I'm going to use good old deck tan for that and this time I'm actually going to get out the dry brush. So actually this is a makeup brush but it's as good as a dry brush um, and we are going to, well you're not going to, I'm going to. I'm going to work on the rocks like this. It's a bit heavier than I want. Let's take some of that off. We're just going to, back with the Wii again, just going to work this in and build out the rocks and the door frames and the window frames. So I will be back. I'll be back, as somebody once said. Right, so there we go. I have finished with that. The rock is all done. So are the window frames um, around here. Also the steps have had a, a generous dry brush. Um, and I'm going to say, well, I did also put a little bit of brushing around the top here, um, just on the edge of the, uh, the eaves, as I'm calling them now. Um, and there we go. That is done. I think that's... Yeah, quite happy with how that's come out. No colour to it, obviously. Um, but this is a black and white film. Kidding. Um, yeah, I think I'm very happy with that. So what I did think about doing next, um, if I wanted to, and I'm still not sure. Shall I do it? Shall I not? Um, I haven't told you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about just colouring in the odd brick, um, just to add a bit of colour to it. Um, but I don't want to be too dominating with it. So I'm going to get um, Agrax Dune um, from um, Contrast Paint range. And I'm just going to see, oops, get the brush out, see how this looks. Just, just touch up the odd little brick. Like that. Just to make it stand out. So I think that will work actually. So do you know what? I'm going to have a little play. Just colour the odd ones in. Just to make them stand out. So it doesn't look quite as uniform and, and red and um, white as the previous lot. And I will be back. So sometimes you just have to work on the fly. Um, so I've coloured in the odd... Um, stones here maybe more than I probably should have done but just to break it up a bit also did a couple with um, Templar black and then a few with um, Griptic Charger grey just as I say just to break up those um, the uniformity I guess of all the white um, and I'm going to say that's done I'm quite happy with how that's come out it's more of a fantasy kind of building than maybe I was looking for but then I think this tower actually is more fantasy than I was expecting um, when I ordered it but um, yeah it'll do fine it'll do nicely um, so I'm going to give this a thorough uh, varnish and um, then I'll show you what it looks like and we'll do some pictures and um, yeah that'll be that so back in a mo. and there we go the tower is finished, varnished and ready for the table. Now, I quite like the effect of it. I think it's come out really nicely. Um, the two-tone of the, well, three-tone or even four-tone of the, of the bricks just breaks up that solid colour. Having the rocks done with the Agrax rather than the Nuln Oil um, brings out sort of a brownier colour which makes it stand out against the white of the, uh, of the pebbles. Of the walls um yeah so very pleased with how this is coming out so i hope that was useful hope that was interesting if it was please give it a like don't forget don't forget to share uh, and subscribe if you haven't already done so and i will see you again soon this is dom signing out